to the director of Project Freelancer from the Oversight Subcommittee Chairman. Captain Rebus, we've got something over here. Dear Director, I want to thank you in advance for your openness in response to our subcommittee's request for more information. We were disappointed that your recovery force reported a total loss at Outpost 17B. We had hoped there would be at least one soldier left that could shed some light on the situation. I know that your agency has enjoyed a high degree of freedom with very little scrutiny in the past few years. It is not our intention to disrupt such a progressive military program, but instead to find a way we can work together in a manner that befits all our responsibilities. I am certain that you will agree, and we look forward to making this review process as painless as we possibly can. Thank you, gentlemen. Would you please excuse us? You are Private Walter Henderson, correct? Yes, sir. You can dispense with the formalities, Walter. Please feel comfortable to speak as candidly as you wish. Can you tell us what happened at your outpost, Walter? Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, I had been there about six months. Everything was pretty much like normal, and one day this... ship crashed. I see. Is this the ship to which you are referring? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Please. Tell me what was on the ship, Walter. I don't know. The Blues got there first. They fought us off while they cleared it out. Took the stuff back to base. By the time we got a hold of it, it just seemed like a regular old transport. Our engineer said some of the wiring had been messed with, but he didn't seem, you know, worried about it or nothing like that. I see. Thank you for that. But whatever was on the ship must have been what started the whole thing. Please, Walter. Define thing. The infection. Blues just stopped fighting us. Some of them set up camp outside their base and trapped the rest of their team inside. They blew up their comm tower for some reason. Their own comm tower. Then they blew up ours. That's why we couldn't radio for help. We couldn't figure out why they would do that. After that, nothing. No word from them at all. The CO sent a squad over. All the Blues were dead. They had killed each other. Why do you think they did that? I don't know. They had torn the radios out of their helmets and dismantled their computers. The CO said they were trying to build something. But I saw the stuff. No way. They were trying to break it. And there was another body in there, too. Not a blue. Somebody else. Actually, she looked like him. Don't worry about him for now, Walter. Please, continue. We brought all the equipment back to base and brought it online. And that's when the infection started for us. The soldiers became... sick? No. They just... they were different. Off. We would catch guys getting into areas they shouldn't get into. But the weird thing was, a guy would go crazy, act up, and then we would throw him in a cell, and he would be fine. Then another guy would go nuts, disobey orders. Like trying to bring the comm tower back online even though we were told to leave it be. Maybe they knew it was coming. They knew what was coming. At first we thought it was hell. It ransacked Blue Base, searched all the bodies. Then it came after us. It seemed focused on the guys that were infected. Eventually, it just started killing everything. Could you describe it for us, Walter? Not really. It moved fast when we first saw it, and after Blue Base, it was... It was different. In what way, different? It looked like it wasn't there. I don't know how to explain it. That's all right. I know this has been difficult for you, Walter. We're going to do everything we can to help you. Please, follow these men to your new quarters. You'll be with us as long as absolutely necessary. You have my word. Agent Washington, what do you make of all this? I think it sounds like exactly what I encountered. Mm -hmm. Except it's stronger now, and becoming more so all the time. Does that concern you? It doesn't make me excited. You've been through a lot with this program, Agent Washington. The Epsilon AI we assigned Has you. already been discussed to death. I'm over it. And now you're physical problems because of your last encounter. I'm better now, mentally and physically. Our profile of you disagrees with your assessment. Look, the last mission I ran against this thing, I got shot in the back by my own partner. Agent South, we feel some responsibility for that. Yeah, you should. If I hadn't had York's healing unit, I'd be dead now. So while this isn't ideal and I don't feel like sticking my neck out for you guys, if it puts me on a path that leads to her, you can trust me at least that far. So you would say that you have overwhelming feelings of anger and a need for revenge? More than you know. Excellent. 
Now that our agency is under investigation, the director feels it is important for us to be as open as possible with each other. If our suspicions are correct, the Meta has made another addition, the Omega AI. It was Omega and Tex, right? Yes, it was. The Meta doesn't leave much behind. It's going to be hard to track. We think the best place for you to start would be the Omega's last known location. The soldiers there have the most experience with our program. I see. So I should contact these experts. We do not like the term experts. Because no one really knows what our program is doing? Let's just say the term expert is a little too... complimentary in this particular case. Do you still have your old suit of armor? Of course. Wait. Why? Oh, great. A response from the director of Project Freelancer. Dear Chairman, while I am obligated to assist your investigation, I ask that you not waste my time with irrelevant questions. My agency is normally unconcerned with such minute directives as troop reassignment, except of course, in the most critical of matters. Deserted. Roger that. See if you can find any evidence that would suggest where they all might- Hey! Hey, ho What's with all the noise? People are trying to sleep here! Um... Scratch that command. It appears I found someone. Recovery one out. Oh, man. Hi, I'm Agent Washington. This is Blue Base, correct? It was. Was? Everybody's gone. Transferred. Something about this base being obsolete now. All right. Where did they go? I don't know. All different places. Nobody told me anything. Well, I'm trying to locate some people who have experience with the Freelancer program. Freelancer? Is that the band we had here last night? You had a party here? Yeah. I throw raves every night. Charge five bucks a head. Last night, I made ten bucks. Oh, oh. Nice. You use the base for raves? That doesn't seem like the proper use for official resources. What are you, like a cop or something? No. Because if you are, and I ask you, then you have to tell me. That's totally a law or something. I'm not the police, and that's not a real law. Well, if you're not a cop, then how do you know it's not a real law? Busted! You caught me. Hey, is there anybody else smart here that I can talk to? Yeah, right. Like I'm gonna tell you. I don't rat people out, cop! Okay, I'm gonna leave now. Good luck with your empty base and your raging insanity. Yeah? Whatever! Good luck with being a cop! Cop! Come in, Command. Hello, Washington. We have you. How was the investigation at Blue Base? Enlightening. Going to try the Red Base now. I'm hoping things there will be a little more... Normal. Oh, In the name of the Red... <clears throat> I mean, Lightish Red Army! This base is operating at full capacity! And if you come in here, you're gonna get into a big, uh, a slap fight! I'm gonna have to call you back. So don't come any further! Ooh la la! There's your last warning! Stay out! I love masks! What in the... Your only hope of survival is to kiss my commander's ass! And there's another warning! I know the other warning was supposed to be last, but I never listen to orders, cause I'm too lazy and stupid! And ugly. Did I mention ugly? This is gonna be a waste of time, I can tell already. Ah! Freeze, intruder! Stop your intruding right there! Who made these things? I did! Wait, you're real? Of course I am! It fell for a classic misdirection! I still got it! <laughs> hey, está todo bien aquí? We're fine, Lopez! Just got myself a dirty blue! How many does that make this week? Oh no. Yahtzee! We're on a hot streak! Uh, I'm not actually a blue. I'm from command. Command? No kidding! I was hoping you could tell me about the soldiers transferred out of this outpost. You mean Griffin Simmons? Those traitors! I told them not to go! The battle here isn't even over yet! Um... It looks over to me. Not while there's a single blue left in this canyon. Which there is. A single blue. Victory or death. I see. That's why I refused my relocation orders. Obviously, command wasn't thinking clearly. So, you're AWOL then? I, uh... Hey, what? Don't tell him anything until you talk to a lawyer! You have rights! I'm not a cop! Hey! Beat it, you little tramp! You see why I can't go? Why not just attack? 
attacker and win, then. It would take about ten seconds. Yeah, Olive and I hate you! That's the problem! I can't attack a girl! So we're locked in an epic stalemate! <laughs> You're kidding me. Plus, well, she's cooking something up, and I gotta be ready. I hear her running training ops every night. I see them out there with their glow sticks and their tribal drum beats. Oom chicka, oom chicka, oom chicka, oom chicka. Well, this has been really informative, but I need to find someone who has experience with artificial intelligence. All right. You want Caboose then? He got infected for a little while, I think. Great. Caboose, do you know where he is? Of course. We intercepted the Blue's orders. I got it right here. Lopez! See? Get this guy the Blue Team relocation orders. See? Lopez probably converted them to Spanish. So they might be a little hard to understand. Yeah, they wouldn't be the first thing today. Shut up, cop! Dear Director, Due to your busy schedule, we have begun interviewing members of your staff. I'm certain you will let us know if this bothers you. Our debriefings keep coming back to a single subject at Outpost 17B. Can you explain to us what this meta is, and what your plans are to deal with it? Oh no! Hell no! Excuse me, sir, but no goddamn way! You must be Lieutenant Miller. I got reds coming out my ass here, boss. You show up and take away one of my men for a... What did you say this was for? Secret mission, sir! Oh, you gotta be... Oh, what? I think you have bigger issues than troop assignments, soldier. How about getting some of these vehicles back in working order? What the hell do you think I'm talking about? This is your fault. You sent us the new guy. He said he was good with vehicles. All he does is talk to him. Talk to him! What the hell is that all about? And now look at the damn things. I, I don't have time to discuss your problems. I have orders, and those orders say that I need Private Caboose, and I need him now. He has information that is vital to the security of- Wait a second. Of... Caboose? You're taking Caboose? And I don't have to pay you or anything like that? Is that a problem? Problem? <laughs> Hell no! It must be Christmas morning and no one told me. You stay right there and I'll get him for you. Private Joe Ennis! Joe Ennis! Joe Ennis! Where the hell are you? Sir, for the millionth time, my name is pronounced Jones. Jones! Shut up, Joannis! Seriously, lots of people have the name. It's very common. How am I the first guy you've met called Jones? Joannis, I need you to go down to the brig, untie a caboose, and get him up here. Me? Alone? Double time, Joannis! It's pronounced... Never mind, Christ. You keep him in the brig? We keep him tied up in the brig. I'm not taking any more chances. Oh! Why? Be careful. You'll understand soon enough. You wanted to see me, Principal Miller. Where's the guy I sent to get you? Oh, him, yeah. Um, he let me out and then somehow shot himself in the back somehow. Uh, but we don't think it was anyone's fault. Everybody agrees it was an accident. Jesus! Would someone go check on him? <sighs> Caboose? This here is Special Agent Washington from Blue Command. He has something fantastic he needs to talk to you about. Command? Oh no. They never have good news. Did somebody die? Was it my mom? Is she dead? Or my dad? Did my dad die again? Oh no. What is this? I, I don't... <laughs> you see? He's yours now. <laughs> no take backs. Is it my brother? Was my brother killed? That's it, isn't it? My brother's dead! What? No, nothing like that. Oh, good. Because I don't even have a brother. How sad would it be to not have a brother and to lose a brother all in the same day? No one died. Join us is dead, sir. Okay, no one besides him. Once again, nobody's fault. Psst. I think the new guy did it. Private Caboose, you were stationed at Blood Gulch, correct? Yeah. That was fun. And our records indicate you were infected by an aggressive artificial intelligence program at one point. The Omega AI, is that correct as well? Yeah, that wasn't as much fun. Okay, well I need you to come with me. I'm investigating a critical issue and you seem to be the only person with the knowledge and experience necessary to help me. And I just realized how ridiculous that sounded once I said it out loud. Nonetheless, I need you to come with me. Can I have a word with him first, sir? Sure, I guess. Now, Caboose, I know we didn't always get along. I got tied up! Right. 
But all these mistakes, I know it's not your fault. You seem like a good kid. You're just a little confused. Yeah, he is. But I want to give you a piece of advice. This guy looks like a tough customer, and you're bound to get into some situations that maybe you're not prepared for. Right. Like a rodeo. Now, if that happens, if you find yourself in danger or in a situation where you think something bad is going to happen to you, I want you to remember just one thing. Never, ever come back here. Okay. No, I need to know that you understand. I need to hear you say it. Don't ever go backwards. Okay, I guess that's as close as we're gonna get. He's all yours! Great. Let's get going. Okay. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Just try to stay quiet. Boys, this is a great day. Things are finally changing for us. I can feel it. Should we bury join us now, sir? Fellas, let's just enjoy this moment a little longer. He's not going anywhere. Dear Chairman, rest assured we have this situation under control. While the matter is proving to be an elusive enemy, our recovery agent is already closing in on it. I expect this incident will reach a conclusion soon, and I will be able to return to my research, hopefully without further interruption. find this guy? I think so. We all found out our new orders at the same time. He tried to hide his from me so I would not know where he was. Really? I can't imagine why. I said it was like a game of hide and seek, and he said that that was right. He was going to hide from me, and the only way he could win is if he dies without ever seeing me again. And he knows about Freelancer as well. Oh yeah, he knows the most. He knows uh, all about your AI game. He dated Dex. Agent Texas? Um, how could a person... <laughs> Sniper! Get down! Huh? Okay, that was your one warning shot! The next one's going right between your eyes! Private Caboose, get down! Wait a minute. Alright, I warned you! Sayonara, biatch! <laughs> oh, come on! What the fuck? Caboose! I know that voice! Church! Church! It's me! Your old time best friend! Caboose? Caboose, is that you? Yes, Church, it's me. I had missed you so much. It has been so long. Did you miss me? Fuck, I missed him. I know you did. Go away. This is your friend? Yeah. And he's shooting at you. Well, at me and stuff around me. Yeah, this is kind of like our thing. You know, he acts like he doesn't like me, but he really does. Oh, and he might bring up something about me killing him, but that's only true. Uh, it's a joke. You can play along if you want. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. You did what? Y you hey, killed him? Hey, Graham! Seriously, get the fuck out of here! Hey, Church! This is Agent Washington! He needs to speak to you! Agent what? You brought a freelancer here? What's wrong with you? Open this gate. Uh, no can do, bud. See, this is a secure facility. Nobody in? Nobody out? Sorry, I guess you'll have to come back. Never. Oh, no. Then I guess we'll have to just walk through the huge hole in your secure wall. Fine! I'll open the fucking gate! Okay, well, sorry the place is so messy. I would have cleaned up if I'd known you guys were coming. But hey, no one called ahead. How long have you been here? How long? Um, what day is today? Today is Tuesday. I've been here 14 months. What? Over a year? By yourself? Alone? Yeah, it's been, um, it's been great. I mean, just, it's been great. Really great. This is Command calling Recovery 1. Come in, Recovery 1. You are really an odd group of people. Hold on. This is Agent Washington. I found some blue team members that have extensive experience with Omega. Did he just say Omega? Yeah. That's some other words, too. Excellent, Agent Washington. Please stand by for orders. Now that you have reassembled the blues, you should head to Outpost 17B. See what clues your team can gather there based on what they know. Roger that. We want you to stop the meta at all costs. This is a level one directive. Good luck, Wash. Recovery command out. Recovery one out. Come on, let's move out. Move out? 
Hey, at what point in this conversation did you think that we were buddies or something? I'm not going with you. Yes. You are not in our buddy club. Shut up, Caboose. And what did I tell you about that armor when we had to pick new suits? You told me to upgrade. That's not an upgrade. This is Mark 6 armor. That's Mark 5. This is an upgrade. In a top 10 list, 5 is better than 6. We're not a top 10 list. How do you ever get anything done if all you ever do is argue with each other? We don't. That's part of our charm. Quit fucking it up. Look, I know you guys are all wrapped up in your little red versus blue battles. Blue versus red battles? No, it says red versus blue. It's that stupid when you say it backwards. But this is important. Actual military operations. Not your fake simulation stuff. Something is hunting our top agents, and I need all the help I can get to stop it. Stop it? If it's killing freelancers, I want to start a fan club for it. Build it a website. And now that the ship from your canyon has crashed, we think it's more powerful than ever. It gains new abilities every time it kills Wait, 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 whoa. You found Texas' ship? We believe so. Where? Come with me, and I'll show you. Okay, I'm in. Yes, this will be the greatest road trip ever! And if you say anything positive, I will fucking kill all three of us right now. Okay. I will be very depressed about how awesome this will be! This is Command calling Recovery 1. Come in, Recovery 1. Excellent, Agent Washington. Please stand by for orders. Now that you have reassembled the balloons, you should head to Center 2. This is Command calling Recovery 1. Recovery 1. Can we cut based on what they know? Base. Base. This is Command calling Red Base. Please stand by for orders. Red Base. Excellent, Agent Washington. Washington. We want you to stop the meta. We want you to stop Agent Washington at all costs. The blues. Blue. On what they know. No. no. Good luck. Wash. Good luck. Red base. This is Command calling Red Base. Come in, Red Base. This is Blood Gulch Outpost number one. Please stand by for orders, Red Base. Go ahead, Red Command. Agent Washington has reassembled the blues. I knew it! I knew it was a blue! Gather your team. We want you to stop Agent Washington at all costs. This is a level one directive. Good luck, Red Base. Hey, one sec. Any word on that soldier poison I ordered? No. Good luck, Red Base. What about the robot nuts? No. Good luck, Red Base. Command out. Well, you don't have to get so t- We still believe this course of action is dangerous. If we are following Agent Washington, logic would dictate that others could be as well. Dear Director, We can all understand that a shift from autonomy to oversight can be a difficult adjustment for anyone, but especially someone of your standing. In that spirit, we have attempted to accommodate your brief explanations to our serious inquiries. Nonetheless, I feel compelled to inform you that even our trust has its limits. Sorry, sir. Those are my orders. No one can approach the crash site. You can't come in. Sorry. I need to see that ship. Check my clearance if you need to. I know, sir, but it won't matter. They said I can't let anybody in. Anybody. I have orders from command, Private. So do I. These came from the director himself. Look, sir, I'd like to help you. I really would. But this investigation thing, apparently they've started talking to people within the recovery force. Now everything's getting locked down. You get command to call me and tell me different. I, I can let you in. Until then, there's nothing I can do. You can use Red Base if you want to make some calls. That facility's already been swept. Fine. I understand. <sighs> we have a problem. I hope it isn't a math problem. They've got the crash site locked down. Oh, great. We couldn't have found that out on the radio? We had to walk here? They said we could use this base if we want. Wow. The empty concrete base? Is it our birthday? I want cake. Can't we find somewhere nicer to hang out? Hey, maybe there's like a cool nightclub nearby that you can't get us into either. That would be awesome. You two just stay here. I'll go draw off the guards. When I give you the signal, use that grav lift. The what? How do we use it? Just step into it. It'll do the rest. Meet me at the ship. Okay, what's the signal? God damn it, I hate when they do that. When they do what? Hey! Where's Agent Washington? What do you think he'll do for a distraction? Who knows? He'll probably, like, you know, make a noise or throw a rock. That's what I would do. Or he could do that. I think he's better at distractions than you are. Yeah. Okay, come on out, but come quietly. Okay, let's go. Um, yes, I don't want to. Uh, you see, I am scared of the thing that I don't know what it is. Oh, don't be a baby. How bad could it be? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> that was fucking bullshit! Did you just say something? What? I said quietly. What part of quiet don't you understand? What part? How about the part where I got thrown 80 feet in the fucking air by the goddamn throwing thing? They didn't see us. Okay, stay out of sight. Do you recognize
recognize this ship. Yeah, this looks like it. Sheila? Sheila! Are you okay? Um, what is he doing? Oh, yeah, we, uh, we transferred our tank's training program into the ship so that it could help us repair it. Did you inform command that you moved the program to the ship? Yeah, we're not really big on paperwork. That's actually a good thing in this case. If they don't know it's there, they may not have tried to activate it. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go. Hello, and thank you for activating the... Wait, where, where am I? Sheila? Program. Instruction. Run a full diagnostic and load the logs from your last flight. Affirmative. Except Exception. This system has taken, da taken damage. I am function I am functioning at minimum capacity today today. Program instruction override exception. Do not talk to her like that. She is not a program. Whoa. What? Calm down. Hey, I'm just gonna stand behind Caboose for a couple minutes. You know, for safety reasons. Okay. I only want to replay the logs from the crash. So can you please get it I mean her to do that. Stabilizer offline. Sheila. Um, would you go ahead and do that uh, thing that he just said to me? Beginning, beginning play, playback. Warning, warning, system Sheila, failure. Sheila, give it a report, now! Rear stabilizer offline, navigation offline, and my system clock does not match interior records. Did Sheila get loose? Negative, but I do not know how much longer I can contain... Computer, what about there? In the canyon, can we land? Analyzing data. Just tell me! Can you get us there? I am unable to calculate... Sheila, give me manual controls now! Acknowledged. Manual controls activated. Warning. Decompression. What? Rear doors open. Where are they going? Close the hatch! Rear doors open. Wait! Acknowledged. Warning. What happened to... Altitude critical. Brace for impact. Brace for impact. Brace Hold on, everyone! Brace for impact. Hold on! Brace for impact. Everybody just hold on! Okay. So after that, the ship crashed here. And from what a survivor told us, the Blues got here first and offloaded the bodies and equipment. Then they started to get infected. Infected? What were they doing with the bodies? Gross. Shut up. No, really, what were they doing with the bodies? They said their men started acting erratically. And for some reason, they destroyed all their radios and their own comm tower. Oh, okay, okay. That was definitely Omega. You had a similar experience? Yeah, similar? Exactly the same. It all adds up, then. Omega was the one who inherited that trait. During training, they discovered that he could move from suit to suit. For some reason, he preferred Agent Texas. They tried to reassign him, but he always made his way back to her somehow. So where's your AI? I don't have one. Anymore. It's a long story, but it's why I was chosen for this job. Okay, okay. I knew I'd heard your name before. You're that guy that went nuts, right? I didn't do anything. My AI... lost control of itself. Right. It just happened to do it while it was inside your head. Right. We have a lot in common, Agent Washington. No, we don't. And don't ever say that again. Where's Texas' body? According to the prisoner, it should be in Blue Base. Take me to it. I want to see it. What? I don't think so. That's their main... Recovery Command calling Recovery 1, Level 0. I have you, Command. Level 0. Go ahead. We have a beacon wash. Pulling the data now. Stand by for ID and coordinates. I received it here, too. Standing by. What was that? That was my recovery beacon. It means an AI somewhere is in jeopardy, and I have to find it before... something else does. Coordinates locked. Transmitting now. Receiving coordinates for recovery target. Do we have an ID? Affirmative. It is from the AI Delta and... Agent South. Roger that. Agent South Dakota. Vital reports look bad. Yeah, she's in trouble, Wash. Yes. Yes, she is. Dear Chairman... The Meta is nothing more than an entity seeking to increase its power in these confusing days after the war. From my perspective, that seems to be a very common occurrence at the moment. Delta, report. Your suit's energy reserves are nearly depleted. The shield will How not. much longer? The meta will breach our barrier within 60 seconds. I suggest that you prepare your grenades while I divert power from your armor's non-essential systems. No. You have a better plan? Keep the shield up as long as you can. When it starts to falter, transfer yourself to the storage unit. I think I would be more useful in my current state. I'll dump my shield generator at the same time. There's no way that thing can resist the both of you. You are... abandoning me? It's my best chance to get out of this. South. Protocol violations aside, this seems to be a very short-term solution. 
The meta will only grow more powerful by integrating... Program the override. Acknowledge last directive. Acknowledge. Preparing storage unit. Get ready. Shield failure in five, four... Get ready to eject. Three... Transfer to storage. Two... On my mark... One... No! There they are! New targets in cover. Don't let it get near her! And don't let her get away! Her? Isn't she a freelancer like you? Yes! Just don't let her leave! Okay! Hello! Hey, see that purple one? She's on our team! You should help her! Okay! Um, she got in the way when I was trying to help her. Okay, we're good! It's gone invisible! Keep an eye on your motion trackers, and watch your perimeters! Look for a shimmer! It can turn invisible? What is this thing? It takes the equipment of other freelancers. It must have picked up cloaking from Tex. Wait a second. Any equipment? Yes! Why? Shit! Wyoming! Cover me! What? Wyoming? Caboose, cover him! Grab those spike grenades! No! Don't let Caboose help me! There it is! Hey! What's a little help out here! On it! Caboose! Toss that grenade! That was the worst throw ever. Of all time. Not my fault. Someone put a wall in my way. <laughs> Affirmative. I am undamaged. However, Agent South is seriously wounded. May I suggest moving me to a new host? Roger that. I don't trust her anyway. One of you two take him. Um, I don't think that I can- I'll do it! I like meeting new people. <sighs> Delta, what happened? I agree with the simulation trooper. The meta has most likely acquired both a temporal distortion unit and an AI capable of running it. In this case, Gamma. Well, why didn't it kill us then? I am sorry, but I do not have enough data to formulate an answer. I think we should simply be happy it is gone. That makes sense to me. I also agree with the glowing person. Everyone else sees a glowing person, right? It is possible the meta has been injured in some way and is retreating to repair itself. So, if we can find it before it does, we may actually stand a chance of beating it. Either way, I don't think we should be hanging around here. <laughs> then let's get moving. I can't... I can't walk on my own. Well, I guess you better start crawling. If you think I'm leaving you here to escape, you've got another thing Agent coming. Washington, if I may, before you arrived, South attempted to turn me over to the meta, to save herself. Really? Much like she wounded you to escape in our previous encounter with it. And as I have learned in our travels, her brother North suffered a similar fate. What a team player. It is highly probable that she will turn on us again soon, and in her current physical state, she will only hamper our progress. What are you suggesting? that we do not allow her to hamper our progress. Okay. Oh, come on, Wash. What are you gonna do? Shit. Yes. Good suggestion. You're welcome. Dude, you guys are some cold motherfuckers. I just want everyone to know that I have no problems walking. And I take full responsibility for the grenade incident. Dear Director, your program was granted the use of a single artificial intelligence unit for implantation experiments. Yet, the department records clearly show multiple agents in the field with implants during the same time frames. Surely this must be a logging error, and we anticipate a corrected document soon. Okay, I have a great idea. Let's all put down our guns and not shoot anyone else that we're trying to help. Relax. Exactly. Let's all relax. Agent South had already shot me in the back once before, and she tried to give up Delta to the enemy. 
I wasn't going to wait around to see if she decided to do it again. Right. Okay, sure. Stop talking to me like that. We're not talking to you like anything. No one is talking to you like this. You don't need to treat me like that. I'm not crazy, okay? I'm totally, completely sane. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go blow up this dead body. Hey, hey, uh, uh, green guy. I'm blue. Delta. Oh, him. Hello. How may I be of assistance? Hey, yeah, uh, what's the deal with this guy? Destruction of unused armor or equipment is standard recovery procedure. Yeah, no, I mean, is he like a whack job or what? Are you aware of his experience with Epsilon? Epsilon? Oh, you mean his AI? Correct. Epsilon was an unstable intelligence unit that had to be deleted. Its integration with Washington's mind concerned our superiors. What do you think? I believe that Agent Washington's sanity is well within acceptable deviations. For now. Wow. What a ringing endorsement. I am filled with confidence. Okay, all done. Delta, I called command. They wanted me to pass along condolences at South's passing. Thank you. I will be sure to archive that sentiment. What did you tell them? I told them Caboose did it. Apparently they already have a shortcut on their keyboard for reporting his team kills. Control F you. I would have told them you shot her, but I wanted it to be believable. Hey, my aim is fine. And yet... The meta managed to dodge your rocket somehow. No, no. Not dodged. It was there one second, and it was gone the next. That's how I knew it was using Wyoming's power. And he was on the ship with Tex? His head was. His head? His helmet. Not everybody is as twisted as you are, Wash. Tex took it for some reason. Maybe that's why the ship took a year to crash. So if the meta has Wyoming's powers, it's even more powerful than we thought. And as scary as someone thought it was to begin with. Back to square one. Scary square. Oh, great. Looks like it took one of our cycles. So, what do we do? What, are you asking us? I thought you were like the big know-it-all super agent guy. I would go home. Yeah, dude. Retire. You got any savings? Like a 401k or something? Delta, can you shed any light on this? Not without further data. You know, why does it want these AI things anyway? I understand the equipment part. At least that lets you do cool stuff. But these AI things are just kind of annoying. They're just constantly yapping and causing trouble. I am going to ignore that. AI help us in battle, depending on their functions. We couldn't run half our equipment without them. And if you get your hands on a smart AI, you can be damn near unstoppable. What, like smart like Delta here? Not exactly. He's just the logical one of the family. Smart means something entirely different for AIs than it does for people. Now, let's not go throwing around words like smart for no reason. Wash is correct. We are more analogous to what you would call a fragment. Actually, I don't care, so I wouldn't call you guys anything. And I would never talk about Zoan's anal, Gus. Especially not in public. There is one smart AI in the freelancer program. Delta? The Alpha is a fully formed... Delta! That's enough. What's Alpha? The Alpha AI. It's nothing. It's a myth. A fairy tale. It is hardly a myth. Agent Washington, you must have memory of the Delta. Alpha. Delta! Command! Offline. Complying. Oh. Sounds like somebody has a secret. I just get tired of hearing these things talk about their Alpha. And you will too. They get obsessed with the idea of it. It seems like it's all they care about sometimes. But what is it? Yes, if it's something really scary, you don't have to tell us. The whole purpose of the program was to study soldiers with experimental AI. But rumor has it, they could only ever get one. So they had to copy it. The original was Alpha, then Beta, and so on. They copied them? Yeah, I, I like that. I guess if one is annoying, the 20 of them are going to be awesome. The copies became obsessed with this idea of the Alpha, the original. In debriefings, they would always steer conversations towards the topic of the Alpha, where it was, if they could see it. Some even took drastic steps. Like shooting their partner in the head drastic, or... I told you, she shot me in the back first. And we believe you. Even though we don't think shooting a friend in the back occasionally is that big of a deal. Some freelancers tried to get to Alpha on their own. They broke into the secret storage facility where it was kept. They almost got to it. After that, they shut down the... My recovery beacon. Oh, great. We thought the meta was hurt, but apparently he's just busy killing more of your buddies. Oh. Pipe down. Recovery one, come in. Level zero, come in. Go ahead, command. Wash, we have a beacon. I'm getting it too. Do you have coordinates and an ID? Are you sure about this one? This is how it came. Command, you're breaking up on me. Please repeat. How what came Hold on, I'm not talking to you, Wash. And, and you're sure? Okay. It's Agent Maine, Wash. What? Please confirm last transmission, Agent Washington. Maine? How can that be? It's... Please confirm, Recovery One. Yeah, it's him. It's the Meta. What? Command, give me those coordinates now. The Meta is a freelancer? Command. Command, come in. Delta, what's happening? Our transmission is being jammed. Tell me you got the coordinates before we lost them. A freelancer! I'm sorry, you have got I did to be not. Kidding me. I did receive Biocom data with the identification, though. 
It appears as though the meta is experiencing massive power fluctuations. Power? Maybe all that AI and equipment can't run on one suit of armor. That is an excellent analysis. The meta is most likely dangerously low on power, and will attempt to augment its energy in some way. Then we need to get to it fast. But where? We, uh, we might know where it's going. I just want to know why we have wall duty for the third day straight, and Tubbs pulls motor pool every time. Not every time. Every time. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today. Today is Wednesday, Delario. Exactly! And where's Tubbs? Motor pool. Look at him down there. What's he doing? Nothing. So what? What are we doing? We're on guard duty. He's on guard duty too. Yeah, but he gets to sit still while doing it. We have to walk. Ugh, you complain too much. I don't complain too much, Burke. You don't complain enough. I have to complain more just to keep up the average. You know what I mean? Burke? Burke? Hey, Burke. Where'd you get that helmet? Oh! Dear Chairman, I understand your concern that increased activity would bring increased risk. However, our fail safes are simple but foolproof. A dead or dying agent's beacon automatically notifies our recovery team, and we will be on the scene immediately to secure all the military's property. Look, there's our cycle. The meta must be here. Yeah, because no one else in the military would have a standard issue motorcycle just like that. Also, the piles of dead bodies might have been a clue. Just keep your heads down and your eyes open. I'm going to advance along that wall. You two take Delta and move up along the other side. Okay. Don't use the radio unless it's absolutely necessary. Okay. And don't make a move until I do. Okay. And no screw-ups this time. Okay. Are we going to sit here on the beach all day? Or are we going to go get this thing? We only have one chance at this before it gets back to full power. I can't take any chances that you guys are going to botch this. Agent Washington, perhaps it would be best if I assisted you in battle rather than helping Caboose. No. Statistically speaking, a freelancer would be much better trained to use my... I said my... no. Now get going. Psst. Hey, Delta. Yes. yes. How, How may I be of assistance? assistance? Hey, can I ask you a couple questions about this freelancer program? Certainly. I will answer what I am capable of answering. This alpha thing. Why, why doesn't Washington want you to tell us about it? I believe Agent Washington is uncomfortable discussing our program in any fashion. He was one of the many failures during the implantation process. One of the failures? How many were there? Several. The director felt time was limited and escalated the pace of experiments. I would classify Agent South as another such failure. Uh, yeah, but she didn't even get an AI. Correct. Agent South Dakota and her brother North were merely another kind of experiment. What would happen if one agent received an AI unit and the other did not? I guess we found out how well that worked. Precisely. I still can't believe she killed her own brother. She put him in a position to be killed. South rarely worked in a direct fashion. What a bitch! Other experiments like the Dakotas were common towards the end. For instance, Agent Carolina was implanted with two AIs at one time. Two of them? That would drive me nuts! Indeed. She only functioned for a short time, and not very well while she did. Having three minds at one time proved far too... taxing. Well, yeah, but if Agent Maine has more than one AI, wouldn't he be having problems too? Like that Carolina chick? Undoubtedly. Agent Maine's power symptoms are only a small indication of what must be happening inside his helmet. Oh great. Powerful and crazy. What a winning combo. Warning. Enemy target detected. I think, yeah. There it is. Yes. Thank you for stating the obvious. Look, there's Wash. I hope he gives us some kind of- NOW! Signal. Move up! If I may, I recommend that Caboose and I flank to the right and attempt to surprise- Just do it! There! Use your rifle! My rifle? Shoot it! Damn it! I got it! Yes! Did you see that? What a shot! I'm awesome! It only counts if you call it! Oh, bullshit, dude! Look, there. Come on. Quietly. Yeah, okay. 
Do you hear something? No. Wait, yeah. What is that? Music? What? Oh. <laughs> Dear Director, I feel you are avoiding the question. If this target was already in possession of an AI unit, how was he able to secure an additional unit from Agent South? Would not that verify, as we indicated earlier, that your program now runs experiments with more than one artificial intelligence? If so, where did these additional AI come from? And more importantly, how did your agency procure them? This is command calling Red Base. Come in, Red Base. This is Blood Gulch Outpost number one. Agent Washington has reassembled the blues. I knew it! I knew he was a blue! Gather your team. We want you to stop Agent Washington at all costs. This is a level one directive. Good luck, Red Base. Hey, one sec. Any word on that soldier poison I ordered? No. Good luck, Red Base. What about the robot nuts? No. Good luck, Red Base. Command out. Well, you don't have to get so testy. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? I think it's terrible reception. I only have one bar. Hello? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Stupid 4G network? Lopez! See. Si. That was Red Command. See, si, you'll see. Were you listening to my call? Registro told us Yamada's par la calidad. They said those dirty blues are up to no good. They say Yamada sonaba extrara a mi. I agree. We have to stop them. No matter what the cost. Aga in Korikio Ultra Yamada. You're right. I shouldn't be here flapping my gums. I need to shake a tail feather. Si. Usted se va para su misión falsa. But I've got to reassemble the team. And I know I can't get Donut. So that leaves just Simmons and Griff. Y quien quiera enviado, la Yamada le matará. Ah, good point. Maybe I'll get lucky and Griff was killed. Not in a glorious manner like battle, of course. But doing something menial and humiliating. Maybe you drown in a toilet while cleaning it. Pendejo. I know, I know, I'm hoping for too much. Lopez, pack my gear. I gotta get going. Say ha, say ya. Uh, lo embalo diario. Deseo que usted se fuera. Good old Lopez. Dependable as always. Now, Lopez. Oh, Dios, por favor. No quiero tener un momento. I know we've had a lot of good times together. No haga esto. And you've always relied on my guidance and protection. El adolescente le derroto. But you're going to be on your own now. Bueno. I prepared you for the world as best I could. Usted mi programa en español. So take care of yourself. And always remember that I'll be thinking of you. Voy a olvidar que la el segundo es tu van. Apenas como y... No. No words, Lopez. I'll see you again. In a better place. Adios, amigo. Adios. Vamanos, viejo hombro estupido. I'll miss you too, Lopez. Every single day. <gasps> I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Menos hablando, yendo se. Me too, Lopez. Me too. El pedal esta a la derecha. <laughs> now to find Griffin Simmons. I can only imagine what amazing adventures they must be having right now. Any last words? Yeah, you guys suck. Ready, aim. Killed by our own men. Couldn't see this coming. Hello? Anybody here? Anybody alive? No? Good. Blue sucks. <laughs> I don't think Simmons and Griff would have switched to blue team. 
But if they did, it might explain why they all died. Wait, 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 wait. What? Hey, uh, don't we get a last request? You know, any anything like that? What do you want? How about for starters, you suck my- Shouldn't you at least read us our charges? You know what you did. You were in charge of our ammunition, and you lost it all. Don't you think it's ironic that you're about to shoot us because we don't have enough ammo? Also, lost and sold to the other team? Two totally different things. Oh, you're just delaying. Yes, that's true. But it's also true that you have to read us a list of charges. It's in the Red Army Handbook, Section on Firing Squads, Subsection 2.9C, page 94, third paragraph. You are going to die a nerd. So sad. You want to die in the next two seconds, or you want to die a nerd with me five minutes from now? Well? I'm thinking. Fine, yeah, what he said. Section whatever whatever. I think you're bluffing. I never read that. Uh, did you read the Red Army Handbook? Uh, no. That's because nobody has, except for him. He's memorized it. In three languages. <laughs> Is that a real rule? I have no clue. But they'll either read the book or read the charges. Okay. Either way, we're alive for a few more minutes. Yeah, we decided that sounds like too much trouble. So we're just going to shoot you and say the Blues did it. Oh, wait. I didn't think about the fuck it, we're lazy option. Yeah, I thought of it. I just didn't want to explain it. Fuck it. Ready, weapon! Griff? This looks like it's it. Listen, there's something I always wanted to tell you. I have something I want to say to you too, buddy. You first. Ready! It was me that stole your identity and ran up all those credit card charges at the pawn shops and peep shows. Sorry. Aim! Whew! I feel so much better now that I got that off my chest. So what do you want to say to me? <sighs> I seem to have forgotten. Hey, asshole, can we hurry this up? Fire! <laughs> Simmons, Griff! There you are! Are we dead? Well, if we are, then hell looks just like the army. Big surprise there. I've been looking everywhere for you! Sarge? Yeah, what? What the hell are you two doing? We're being executed by our own men, sir. Well, cut it out! I need you guys to come with me. Command has a secret mission for us. Who the hell is this guy? Oh, what is this? Insubordination? Hey well, Come on, you two, let's get a move on. Where's your commanding officer? He's right there. Where, behind Griff? Sergeant Griff is our CO, sir. Your sergeant has the same name as Griff? That's a disturbing coincidence. No, no, listen to me. Griff is our commander. He was promoted to sergeant when you refused to relocate with us. But who's in charge? Sergeant Griff. Okay, see, I can hear you saying words, but it's like they don't match up in a way that makes sense. Did you have a stroke? Griff is a sergeant. He's the same rank as you now. That's who I'm talking about. Where is he? He's right there. So, he's invisible. Dude, I don't think he's physically capable of understanding what you're telling him. Does this mean we get a new sergeant now? Awesome, because this one sucks. Gah! Never talk that way about a superior! Did Sarge just call me superior? I heard it. Simmons is a witness. I don't even want to get involved. What's going on in this outpost? Insubordination, invisible sergeants, and Simmons has had a stroke! Totally counts. You two just get in the jeep. We're getting out of here. I'll explain on the way. Shotgun, I outrank you. Get in the back. Fuck! Son, tell your sergeant I'm taking these two with me. He can call command for verification. But you're taking us, Sergeant. What? I can't hear you! Engine's too loud! What the hell just happened? Hey guys, the blues are all dead. Ugh, I'm gonna go lie down. Dear Chairman, Our records in this matter are impeccable, and I will refer you to them. It is true that we were granted the use of only one AI program, yet with special permission to conduct our experiments. That is all we were allowed to do, and that is all we have done. Of course, I am sure that you will agree that the core mission of any scientific endeavor is to find creative solutions to unexpected problems. Where did these guys come from? I have no clue! Do you think they're working with the meta? Working with them? These guys don't do much working of any kind, so no. Look, there's Caboose. Is he dead? Ugh. Hold on! Let me pull up the biocom. Check his pulse rate. Uh, you can monitor our vitals? I can check on the whole squad during combat. Keeps me up to date. It doesn't work on you for some reason. Yeah, uh, I'm sure there's a perfect logical explanation for that. We need to get to him. My HUD says he's alive but hurt. How about now? Stop that! And you missed him. Fuck! Sun was in my eyes. Germans, keep firing! Don't let up! Yes, sir! And get some grenades out there! Yes, sirs! 
Griff, stop confusing everybody. I'm calling the shots. We're the same rank now. I can do whatever I want. You're not qualified to lead in battle. Qualified? How hard can it be? Simmons, you're doing a terrible job, and you should try to win harder. I mean, try harder. To win. That's lawful. I learned it by watching you! Excuse me, sir. What? what? <sighs> Never mind. We have to end this! Caboose is hurt, he could be losing blood. Ah, let him be. A little brain damage might actually be good for him. But what about Delta? The meta could have grabbed him, or he could be trying to... What was that? What was that? Oh no. The meta! He must be powering up. We can't waste any more time with this nonsense! Red Team! Yeah. Attention! Yeah. Red Team! Cease fire! Cease fire! Hey, how'd you do that megaphone thing with your voice? It's a voice amplifier. It's standard issue. All our suits have one. They do? What do you want? Yeah, what do you want? Shut up, Griff! That's shut up, Griff, sir! We are not your enemies. My name is Agent Washington. I am part of a special task force. Testing! Te Holy shit! It does work! This is badass! Stop that! Ow! Don't use that thing right next to me! You're killing my ears, you douche! Oh no! We're not falling for that again! I am a special agent from command! And this is the voice of God! Give up your evil ways! Join the blue team! Ow! Hey, come on! Seriously, you're gonna break it! Oh, uh, yeah! Well, if you're a command, then you'd know our secure code word, wouldn't you? What? Oh, right. Hold on one sec. The code word is... Code word? Oh, better. Sir, what did I tell you about that? All right, men. Stand down. Stand down? We outnumber them three to two. That's like a three with a two? That's 32% advantage. If you carry the one... I don't want to know how you came up with that, but you're actually right. What do you care, though? I thought you loved giving up in the middle of battle. Doesn't mean I want to die. Gentlemen, they know the code word. There's nothing we can do. Everybody knows our code words. All right, let's try negotiating. Griff, I want you to get out there. See what they want. But first, leave your weapons and armor here so they don't feel threatened. Check that. Take your weapon and give it to them. No. Sarge, you may not think that I'm a good leader, but something about those blues just doesn't feel right. And I have an uncanny sixth sense. So if you won't help me, I'll just have to get the local reds to. This guy looks legit. Maybe he can help. Griff, get back here! You don't know anything about those soldiers! To them, blue could be red, or red could be blue, or this could be an opposite map! Shut up, old man, and watch how a real leader works. Hey there, soldier! What's your name? Huh, sounds like somebody has a cold. Anyway, listen, I need your help with some... ...thing. Wow. That's a cool trick. How did you do... Um, I, uh... Man, it got pretty quiet out there. You don't think they're really working with the meta, do you? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh god. No. Dear Director, Do your creative solutions include the circumvention of the safety protocols that every member of the military must follow? If they do not, then I fail to see how an enemy has managed to secure not one, but several of your experimental AIs. The protocol is not a guideline, dear Director. It is doctrine, and no one is above its rule.
Keep up the good work, Griff! Ow! Okay, that could have taken out an eye! Caboose, are you okay? Caboose! Damn it! Delta, are you here? Delta! Church, I have Caboose. He's hurt, but I'm going to keep him alive with a healing unit. How are you doing with the meta? You're dying! Oh, great. Hey, come on! We still got payments left on that thing! You better not scratch the paint job! Hi. Remember me? What's the verdict? I don't know. He seems okay. I think he was knocked out. I just can't get him to come out of it. I, I, What's he mumbling? You know, he I can't make it out, but I don't really understand half the stuff he says normally. This makes no sense. All his vitals check out. Why can't I revive him? Hey, do you guys know a medic around here by any chance? No! Well, maybe removing Delta did something to him. Like a, a coma or something. Yeah, but there's no way to know that for sure. Unless you have a way to see inside his head. Prep him for evac. I'll put in a call to command and get an extract going. This is Recovery One calling command. Come in, command. Hey, Blue, why don't you do that thing? You know, the thing you do. The ghost thing. Yeah, this guy doesn't know about that, so... I don't really want to let him know and freak him out. Why don't you go keep him occupied? I'll see what I can do. Hey, Agent Washington. I think it turns out we do know a medic after all. But he's really far away. Maybe if we run around this corner right here, we'll get better at Ugh, I hate coming here. Hello? Agent Washington? Yes. I am Agent Washington. How are you doing, Caboose's best friend? Oh, right. Hi, Agent Washington. What is this place? This is Caboose's mind, so everybody here is pretty much as Caboose sees the world. That means everyone's gonna be either really happy or make no sense whatsoever. I see. That's valuable information. I will take that information, and I will keep it in a special folder marked secret. Everyone knows that is the best security there is. I see. Don't tell anyone I told you that. Actually, you act a lot like you do on the outside. I would like to think that's because I present myself in a very clear and consistent manner. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to scare some people who are just trying to help me and then go fight monsters and robots from the future. Freelancer power, activate! Yeah, okay, good luck with that. Hello, Church. Delta? Yes, this is my new friend Delta. I believe he has information for you. Awesome! Unfortunately, I have been taken by the meta. This is merely a memory I left in Caboose's mind to help you along your way. Well then how are you talking to me? I am not. I merely used logic to determine what questions you would ask and in what order. Then I left the appropriate responses. Oh really? Yes, really. I left this memory in case you found it. Please tell Agent Washington that memory is the key. Memory is the key. Memory is the key? Is what does that mean? Wash will know. Okay, seriously. Does it have to be a riddle? Can you just tell me what you want me to do? How hard would that be? I bet this is your fault somehow. I just work here. Well, if you're in the meta, then why don't you just help us from the inside? Church, I have to be objective. The next time you see me, I may not want you to help me. Delta, Delta, wait! Memory is the key? What about the meta? What about- Uh, dude? Yeah, turns out I'm not so good at distracting. Wash, don't panic, I can explain. Yeah, see, when Simmons was boring you with random conversation about nerd stuff, he was really just trying to distract you from what the blue guy here was doing. He means explain the fact that he's a ghost! Oh, right. Yeah, he can explain that part, too. Idiot! Dear Chairman, I, too, hold the protocol in the highest regard. The doctrine kept us all safe during the Great War. 
If you are insinuating, sir, that we violated it in any way, or that we were derelict in our duty to the military, well then I suggest you be direct and tell me exactly how we did so. What is going on? Wash, stay calm. We can explain. I don't want explanations. I want the truth. Now. When were you going to tell me about this? Okay, maybe I should start from the beginning. You see, Caboose here killed me by accident once. Well, actually, more than once. Not my fault. Tucker did. Shut up. He killed you. As in, dead. And then we reached an agreement. I built Blue over here a new body. <laughs> agreement? More like we kicked your ass, and you didn't have much of a choice of what you wanted to do. Who kicked what now? What are you, an idiot? Uh, no, you back. guys totally gave up. That's bullshit. That was the time that Spencer kicked your ass Stop. all over. Focus. How did you build him a body? What's a robot kit, of course. I'd already used ours to build our helper, Lopez. And a mighty fine job you did too, sir. Yeah, it's always great to have a helper no one can understand. Blue team hadn't used there for some reason. And they even had an extra. Well, here's that for your buddy, yo. Uh, what's her name? And that didn't strike anyone as odd? That you would have a kit to build a robot that looks like a soldier? That's just standard issue equipment, right? What? No! Have you ever run into anyone else who has one? We don't really get out that often. Okay, smart guy. If they're so rare, then why the command send us upgraded ones when we were told to ship out the rat's nest? You guys went to rat's nest too? I used some of the spare parts to spruce up Lopez. Spare parts? Did you fix his voice thing? You know, I didn't even think about that until just a second. Kind of obvious in hindsight. Probably best not to mention it to him if you see him. Meh, he wouldn't understand anyway. Your team sucks. At least our robot isn't the leader of our team, Bluebot. Hey, that's not nice. He means us, right? Yes, and shut up. Stop it! I can't stand this. No more bickering. You have to be the most immature soldiers I've ever met. Your face is immature. Shut up. From now on, everyone just keep quiet and don't talk unless I ask you a question. That's an order. I need to figure this out. Hold on. You can't order us around? Yes, I can. What's your rank? My rank? You still don't get it, do you? <laughs> you think you're real soldiers? You're not. You guys are nothing. Whatever. Your face is... nothing. We use your outpost as testing grounds. Practice. You never noticed that you didn't have anything to do unless a freelancer showed up? Or you made a call to command? You're making that up. Am I? Think about it. Name one thing that ever happened to you that wasn't directly preceded by command calling you or sending someone to your base. One thing. Anything? No? I thought so. You three go assess the vehicles. See if you can find some trail of the meta while you're at it. Ooh, finally a take charge leader. I like it. Shut, Shut up. up. Church, get back in your armor. You're just going to draw attention to yourself like that. Fine. But first... No, no first. Get in your armor. I really think I should tell you what it is. Shh. I have a message from Delta. Delta? Why didn't you tell me? Oh, come on. Seriously? How did you get in contact with him? He left a message for me in Caboose's head. Actually, for me to give to you. I guess he figured out I would get in there and find it. How would he know that? Did he know what you are? Well, I didn't tell him. But he seemed pretty smart. Maybe he just put two and two together. Four! That wasn't a test. Yes, it was. I won A+. Plus. What was the message? He said... Memory is the key. Memory is the key. Did he say anything else? Nothing important. Memory is the key. What does that mean? He said Wash would know. Memory is the key. Yeah, I know. It didn't make any sense to me either. Just sounded like some kind of stupid riddle or something. Gather your gear. We're leaving. Now. I think he's angry because of what you said to him. <laughs> yeah. If I knew it was going to make him leave, I would have said it sooner. What's the status of the vehicles? Report. You could have asked nicely. You're right. I could. Report. We're all busted. We can probably fix one by taking parts from all the others. That's one of my specialties. Gonna take a while, though. How long? A couple of days. No time. We need to start moving ASAP. And we need six seats. You're gonna have to get me two jeeps in a few hours. No can do. Not gonna happen. Then we'll have to get them somewhere else. And I know exactly where we can find them. Why? Where are we going? Delta was right. Memory is the key. But what does that mean? It means that only one thing remembers everything about these AI and where they come from. It will know how to stop them. We need to unlock the Alpha. The Alpha? And that means we're going home. We're going to command. Dear Director, Our laws are not designed to outline every possible infraction that may take place. However, the spirit of the law is clear. 
blatant disregard for the safety and well-being of our citizens in any form will always be a punishable offence, regardless of how well or by whom that offence has been justified. Here they come! Simmons, what are you waiting for? Shoot them! I can't! This stupid gun is jammed! Step on it, Crip! Yeah, no shit! Whose idea was it to steal a cheap for these guys anyway? wouldn't work. We all knew this plan wouldn't work. None of our plans ever work. That's why we carry guns. We can get a car? No problem. We're better with vehicles than the Blues. Let us handle this. Why did I even listen to them? I told you not to. Yeah, well, I already stopped listening to you three bases ago. Well, that's not very... And I never started listening to you. Force them into the wall! On it! Where'd they go? Did you lose him? Looks like it. What the same hell? I don't believe it. Well, Sarge, I guess you owe me an apology. Turns out I'm not such a bad driver after. All. Oh. oh, come on! What the fuck? Oh, man. That Jeep has a really big gun. Don't get any ideas. <sighs> well, I guess I better get down there and save them really starting to hate this part of the job. Well, at least you're getting a lot of practice at it. Don't patronize me. You know, if we let one or two of them die, we could probably all squeeze into one car. I'm just saying, just think about it. Uh, and if enough of us die, we can fit on a motorcycle! All right, good, he's gone. Caboose, you stay here, I'll be right back. You're leaving? Yeah. For some reason, he doesn't want me to see Tex's body. I'm gonna go try to find her. Uh, don't, don't leave me here with your body. It scares me, and I don't like it. You'll be fine. Stop it. Got it. Great, you want jam the gun? How about you shoot him? Girl, just get us out of there. Hold on, I want to try something. I think I can make this jump. Are you insane? Yeah, fuck this. Brakes. Uh, we're really high. Yeah, got him. You idiot. We needed that Jeep. Uh, yeah, and we needed not to die. What's your point? There's still six of us. Where are we going to get another vehicle? Oh. Hey, dude. In the future, don't ask for shit. Looks like the Hornet's going to get them. Yeah. They blew up our Jeep, though. That kind of sucks. And they killed two of our friends, right? Oh, yeah, that too. Still, I think... <laughs> you okay? Me? Yeah, you. What was that noise? I didn't hear any noise. It sounded like... I sneezed. You sneeze. Yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna go in the base now. Gonna go do some patrolling in there. You know how it goes. Standard op stuff. Okay, see ya. What are you talking about? The CO said to stay out here. Make sure no one gets in the base. Oh, it's okay. I, uh, I spoke to the sergeant. He gave me special orders. Okay, yeah. Wait, you mean the captain? Yeah? Huh? Yeah, right. That guy. Whatever. Run! Uh, why not they get you watching it? He's just standing next to me, watching you get killed by the giant spaceship. Oh, really? Can you put him on then? Oh, I don't think so. Uh, we're, we're playing a game, uh, called Who Can Hold You the Longest? Um, it's a fun game, we... I'm going to have to call you back. Dear Chairman, Sir, while I appreciate your concern, allow me to correct you in one area. I value all our subjects' well-being, but I revere above all else our ability to continue as a species, our ability to survive, and no committee, no bureaucrat will ever convince me otherwise. Hey, I have a question. Why did we agree to come along this thing if we're just going to be the decoy all the time? Looks like you have it under control. I'll be right back. Tex? Tex, are you here? Tex, come on. Tex! Allison? All right, freeze. Uh, what? They told us to be on the lookout for someone acting odd, and you're acting odd. So hands up! Hey, buddy, come on! You need to be like all... <laughs> knocked out. Thanks, Wash. Church, is that you in there? Uh, yeah, one sec. Yeah. There. What happened? I feel kind of... 
What do you think you're doing in here? I had to see Tex's body. I, um... She's like me, Wash. I know all about her, Church. Come on, you're not gonna find anything in here. But where is she? She should be here, right? I mean, shouldn't she? We've all lost people, Church. What's important is that you remember her. And what's even more important is that you don't slow me down while I'm in the middle of a mission! What now? What is going on out here? What does it look like? We're running from this stupid plane! Well, we need to leave. We have a warthog at blue base. We'll take that and you follow me. What about this ship? Well, take it down! Not that simple! If it's so easy, why don't you do it? Fine. on how long he's gonna live. I got 10 bucks that says it's less than a minute. I'll take that action. Suggestions. The Freelancer Command Facility is an underground complex of secure bunkers and fortified chambers. Let's put our heads together and see if we can figure out a way to get in there. I have an idea. And let's not do it is not an acceptable plan. Oh. Well, you probably should have said that before you asked for suggestions. Next idea. Why don't we call Command and ask them what the proper procedure is for invading their headquarters? Next. How about we build a makeshift nuclear device and blow the entire place to kingdom- No. We have to get in there. Why? Because we need to unlock the Alpha. The what? It's the main AI from Project Freelancer. You know all the AIs that we've been dealing with over the years? It's where they were all copied from originally. You can't copy an AI. <laughs> the main one? Fuck that. Those things have caused all of our problems. Why would we go looking for the main boss one? That's a good question, Agent Washington. Do you want to answer that? You'll understand everything soon enough. We're not going. What? You have to go. Not really. We can't infiltrate headquarters with just three people. You're coming. That's an order. Order? You're not a commanding officer. We don't even know what rank you are. I'm a freelancer. Not a rank, dude. The other freelancers never gave orders. They just offered to trade favors. Okay, then let's bargain. What do you want? Three uh, words, guys. New base. Bit of a giant. Uh, Shut up, lady. Always with that. Uh, no, mags. Robots and lasers. Uh, like lasers and robots. Uh, Milkshake. Uh, All right. We talked about it, and we figured out what we want. All right, let's have it. We're watching a demo griff. Done. What? Another wasted opportunity. Congratulations. You are now Private Griff again. Got anything lower? Private... Junior... Griff? I was thinking something with uh, an insulting adjective, or maybe a demeaning adverb. How about Minor Junior Private Griff, negative first class? <laughs> I like the way you think. You realize you just doomed us to certain death just so you can insult me, right? Hey, if we do get killed, at least we'll go out on a high note. Well, everybody but you, that's to be expected. You haven't had a high note in five years. Why break the goddamn streak? We still need to figure out how we're getting in there. Mr. Washington? I have an idea. I really shouldn't even bother asking, should I? I don't know. Caboose? An idea? I think he's bluffing. No, it, it's a really good idea. We drive there. Yeah, he was bluffing. We're going to Freelancer City, right? The place where Freelancer's from. And this is a Freelancer car! If they think that we are Freelancers because we are in their car... They will just let us right in! But you don't look like freelancers. Or recovery agents. They can't see inside of a tank. There's no way this plan is gonna work. Just stay quiet. Follow my lead. Griff! Get off me! We have time! Stop pushing me! Ow! Okay, guys. It's hard enough to fit in here. Oh! Who did that? All right, whose hand was that? Is Donut in here? I can't breathe. All right. Uh, door checks out. Looks like there was a new incident at outpost 17B. Glad you fellas made it out okay. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, it was crazy. We lost a lot of good men, especially Joe, Joe Johnson. He was a great guy. I remember he had a girl back home named Fritzy. Stop embellishing. 
They already believe us. He also had a dog named Mr. Chomps. Anyway, he's dead now. It's sad. You're clear now. So drive on to building three. Understood. Thanks, soldier. Can't believe that worked. Yeah, seemed like it was too easy. Wash, you're gonna learn when you work with us? There's no such thing as too easy. You're just being paranoid. Yeah. You're probably right. Dear Director, please do not attempt to recast this investigation as some type of personal vendetta. Our questions to this point have been fairly standard. Your reactions have not. As such, we have secured all your records and logs by the authority granted us by the UNSC. Now we shall see exactly what it is that you have to hide. Alright, we got in, but that's only part of our mission, so no celebrating yet. Aw oh, shit, and I was gonna be in charge of confetti. We still need to reach the AI storage facility. Security's tight since the freelancers tried to break in here. You mean when they tried to steal the Alpha before? Exactly. The freelancers tried to break into their own command facility? That's dumb. That's what we're doing right now, you jackass! So, just because we do something doesn't make it smart. <sighs> Tell me about it. I have the necessary clearance to get close to this storage hall. The plan is, I'll take Church as a prisoner. If I take more than one of you, it won't be believable. Major Washington, I want you to take me instead. What are you talking about? I will be your prisoner. Let Church go. He doesn't have anything to do with this! Caboose, I'm not actually going to be a prisoner. I'm just gonna pose as one so we can get past- Have a good life, Church. Don't worry. I won't tell them anything. They won't get any information out of me. No matter how nicely they ask. Oh my god, just shut up. Sacrificing himself for his CO! What a good soldier. Why can't you two be more like him? What, brain dead? I would sacrifice Griff for you, sir. I know you would, Simmons. But it's just not the same thing. No, but seriously, I would. Just give me the word. I'll do it right fucking now. Let's go. Bring it. Why are you taking church? What about the rest of us? We're sneaking past seven levels of armed checkpoints. Are you volunteering? Uh, it was a hypothetical question. The rest of you hole up and wait for us to finish. And don't touch anything. How will we know when you're done? When you see every guard in the base running in one direction, that means we're probably in trouble. All the guards? What? Wait, wh why are we taking church again? Just keep the guards off of us, and we'll radio when we're in position. This will be our extraction point. Keep them off you? Yeah. Distract them, dipshit. How? Well, this is the center that came up with all the ridiculous scenarios you guys have suffered through over the years. So have fun. Break some shit. <laughs> Hold on! Don't come any closer. I need you to stay right there, sir. Understood. I need access to the next level. The counselor wants to interrogate another survivor from Outpost 17B. What? I thought all the blues at Valhalla were dead. Where'd this one come from? I don't have to explain anything to you, soldier. Stand down. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean anything by- That's fine. I'll let it go. As you were. Something doesn't seem right to me. I'm gonna have to call this in. Absolutely. Call it in. Let me just- NOW! <laughs> Uh, hey, can I get a little help? I'm out of bullets. Thanks. This patrol was 17 seconds late. Who's running this place? How inefficient. Sloppy! I'm bored out of my gourd! So what? Bored is good. Bored means we're not dying. Boredom I can deal with. I have years of practice. Yes! Griff talked. I won. I won the who can beat the quietest game again. Yeah, good job! That's ten in a row for you, Caboose. Hey, you know what? We should play again. Best 11 out of 21. Yes! You are all going down. Huh. We should try holding our breath next. Well, that's it. I can't stand this sitting around. I'm going mad with anticipation. We've only been here 12 minutes. Are you sure? My mission clock says three days. <sighs> that's because you wouldn't synchronize at the start of the mission, remember? I said we should synchronize, and you said, why would we synchronize? It's like we're in the future, seeing what the enemy does before they do it. Why would we give up the advantage? Come on, Simmons, who could possibly remember an annoying conversation we had three whole days ago? Twelve minutes ago. Griff, what's your clock say? Um, actually mine's a countdown to the next episode of Battlestar Galactica. Priorities, dude. I, I, I just won again! Man, you guys are really bad at this game! It's, it's like you're not even playing at all! Here. This is it. Whoa! What is this place? It's the storage facility for all the AIs. The rejects, the bad variants. Everything is here. Everything. 
Dear Lord. Where are all these lights on the walls? It's holographic storage. And one of these things is Alpha? You work on closing that door. I'll find what we're looking for. And when I do, every soldier on base is sure to come running. So be ready. I got it. Get over here. Here. This is it. There. Oh, great. You found it already. Ah! What's wrong? Nothing. I just had, like, a weird flash. Ah! Ah! Are you all right? Yeah, I think it's this thing. It's like sending out images. Is this the Alpha? No. This is not the Alpha. No. Well, what is it? This is Epsilon. This is my AI. Dear Chairman, I imagine this investigation of our program is providing you with the kind of attention that politicians crave so much. How very predictable. What has surprised me most about mankind during the Great War is not our ability to adapt to the new arenas of conflict, but instead our willingness in victory to so quickly return to the old. You mean to tell me we've come all this way for this? Your fucking crazy AI Epsilon? Yes. I thought it was gone. But Delta told you memory was the key. At first I thought he meant to remember our first encounter. And when I met Delta the first time, what I told him was... Ah! You were encrypted until you could be recovered. Recovery carries risk. Destruction ensures that an AI... It cost a lot of money, okay? It's cheaper to recover you than it is to delete you. When they removed Epsilon from me, he was unraveling, casting off all his thoughts. I was sure they deleted him, but it's... It's cheaper to store it than it is to delete it, right? Right. But why are we looking for this thing? What's the point? The message specifically said that memory is the key. Delta was telling me that Epsilon was still alive. And Epsilon is the key? In a way. At the end of the war, things didn't look good for humans. And there were dozens of projects all trying to come up with the magic bullet to win. Right? Project Freelancer was one of them. They had their research with aggressive AI, but they could only get the one, and they needed more to conduct their experiments. So, they got desperate. Right. They tried to... They tried to copy it, but they couldn't, so they... All AI are based on a human mind, and the director had a theory. He thought, if we can't copy it, we'll just have to do the next best thing. <laughs> they... They split it? Just like a human mind when it's broken. It fragments. It fractures itself to protect itself. They tortured it? Like reverse engineering a multiple personality disorder. They presented Alpha with scenario after scenario of stress and danger. When it started to fragment, they harvested those fragments. The Freelancer AIs. These hoarded little fragments of purified, compartmentalized emotion. None of them were a full personality. Some were good, like Delta. Delta was Alpha's logic. It needed to protect itself from analyzing what was happening to it. So it segregated that part of its mind the part that would be able to understand the horror of what they were doing to it. But when the anger came and threatened to take over, it split that off too. That was Omega, its rage. Gamma was its deceit. Sigma was its creativity. And Epsilon... Epsilon was its memories. And memory is the key. Ugh, okay. Now I'm bored. Simmons, promise to do me a favor. If the madness sets in, just shoot me. Do everyone a favor and shoot him now! Is that an order? Oh, save your bullets for something worthwhile. Hey, Simmons, get over here! Hustle up! What's up, sir? You're good with, uh, computers, right? Well, I'd like to think so. I mean, there's really all different kinds of skill sets. Like, you have your binary computation, you have, uh, bus transport... Yes or no? Yes. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. If this is command, and these computers have some of those internets installed on them... There's just one internet, sir, and I don't think it's located inside this building. They probably have all the information about everything, right? Like in a spread of base or one of them wrong things. Data sheet? I'm sorry, was that something I was supposed to understand? Was that even English? Come on, man, you know, like all the mainframes on the reds and the blues. Series of tubes and whatnot. Okay, you're using a lot of terms that don't really make sense. I think you're asking me if these computers store all the data on red and blue armies? Control alt bingo. Probably. Could you get into it? Yeah, if I had some time. What are you thinking, sir? Simmons. I want you to erase the blues. What, you mean like the blues from our canyon? No, Simmons, all of them. Gone. Erased. As in wiped off the map. Kablooey. Terminate process. Sir, you just blew my mind. As 
as they continued to torture it, Alpha couldn't keep its sanity and its memories at the same time, so it had to purge them. That fragment became Epsilon, and I was just unlucky enough to have it assigned to me. So you knew? You knew from the beginning what was going on, mostly. They never told anyone what they did here. I got flashes when they put Epsilon in my head, memories of what the director did to it. So you would say that you have overwhelming feelings of anger and a need for revenge? More than you know. Just like you're getting now. That's why Epsilon went insane. It was meant to. It was all the horrible experiences that Alpha needed to shed to survive. And that's why it had to be removed from me. Did they know that you had the memories? I never said a word. But they had their suspicions. Do you still have yours? No, Wash. I never had one. I was in the implant group behind you, remember? And after what happened to you, nobody got anymore. I would never let them put another AI in my head. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to hide what I knew from another program. Which, ironically, is what led them to think I could be trusted. Well, what do we do with it? We take it. And we get it in the hands of someone who can use all its information. Then they can bring down the person responsible for what was done to Alpha. And to me. And to my friends. They can take down the director. Well, what about the meta? How do we stop him? Isn't that the point? I thought only the Alpha could do that. Are we gonna find it or not? No. No! After the first attack on command, they moved it. They knew the AI would just convince their freelancers to come looking for it again. So they put it in a place where they didn't think anyone could find it. But where? Shouldn't we be there instead of here? Church, I need you to listen to me. Delta was the logic. He was able to figure out things before anyone else. It's why he left a message for you in a way that he knew only you could find. And in a way that let me see you getting it. What are you saying? I'm saying I know what you are, even if you don't. Why you can seemingly live without a body. What? It's why they stuck you in some useless backwater canyon where no one ever goes. Then, why they transferred every person in your outpost to a different base than you. I've been here 14 months. What? Over a year? By yourself? It's why you always agreed with everything Delta said. I think we should simply be happy it is gone. That makes sense to me. Why you didn't feel anything when Omega got inside your head. It feels pretty much the same, that's kinda weird. Why you can jump from person to person the way it can. It all adds up then. Omega was the one who inherited that trait. Church, there's no such thing as ghosts. You're one of them. You're an AI. You are the Alpha. Dear Director, it is now clear that your agency and its primary program, Project Freelancer, have abused the trust and freedoms that the Oversight Subcommittee has provided you. Your abuse of the Alpha AI will now become the subject of a criminal investigation. I'm sorry, Director. But you have seen the end of my patience. What are you finding out, Simmons? Looks like all the blue records are here. I just don't have the access to delete them. I'm trying to work around that right now. Ooh, try hacking the mainframe. This isn't a mainframe system. How about cracking it? Would cracking it work? Griff, shut up! Stop making suggestions when you have no idea what you're talking about. Well, if you want help... I don't want help. Maybe you should explain what's going on, and I can make an educated suggestion. Educated? Okay, fine. This computer is a dedicated interface with a highly developed security protocol. The information we are accessing is stored on a separate database with its own dedicated hardware. That system has its own distinct layer of security. From what I can tell, the two systems verify their identities by trading randomly generated 2056-bit encryption keys. I'm trying to spoof one of those keys right now. So, Griff, I'm all ears. Any suggestions? Oh yeah, I've seen that before. You should try uploading a virus to the mainframe. Jesus! I find viruses that feature a laughing skull tend to work the best. Shut the fuck up and let me work! You're a fucking idiot. That's not the reaction I expected. You think I'm a computer program? Why is that hard to believe? Uh, how about because I'm a person? That I have been my whole life? That I have memories from when I'm a kid? And I don't remember being a calculator, dude! AI are programs based on an actual human mind. You're bound to have some residual memories. They're just not yours. Oh, you're so full of shit! And after what you've been through, it's not hard to imagine you wouldn't- Oh, st st give me a break, dude! Okay, fine. I guess you being a spirit makes more sense. Fuck yeah, it does! It's way less geeky, asshole! A spirit? Yeah, that's right. 
A ghost. Boo, motherfucker. Simmons, how's your progress? Good, I'm almost in. This blinking light is really distracting me, though. What is it? Hey, guys, I told Caboose to watch out the windows in the next room. That should give us some relief. Good. Simmons, if that light bothers you so much, just turn it off. Hey, I got a great idea. How about if someone else does something for once? I'm working here. <sighs> I'll do it. Hello! Come in, command! Do you read command? Why isn't anyone answering? What should I say? Who the fuck cares? Just get rid of him. Um, hello. Uh, this is command. Go ahead. Finally! Hey! This is a distress call! We need help down here ASAP! Mayday and all that shit! Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, dude. There's no one here to take your call right now. What?! Can I take a message? Dude, that's bullshit! You guys suck! Is that the message? No, it's not the message, asshole! Tell them, we found what we're looking for, and it's under the sand. Send help now! What the hell is he talking about? Who the fuck knows? Under sand. Uh, okay. I got it. As soon as they get back, I'll be sure to grab them and, uh, slip it to them. Yeah, slip it to them! Bow chicka bow wow! What'd you say? Oh shit! Gotta go! Was that who I think it was? Did somebody here just say something? Look, you can resist this all you want, but that doesn't change the fact that I need your help to beat the meta. Why me? Who else, Church? Why not Tex? She's a ghost, like me. Use her! But she's not you. Even if I could find her, even if she's still alive, I don't think I could trust her. Tex is... confusing. The director and counselor always work so closely with her. She was, like, their favorite. You sound jealous. What's the matter? Daddy didn't love you enough? We were a competitive group. We had to be. But she always had special treatment from our superiors. There has to be a reason for that. She is... She's... I don't know what she is. <laughs> what? You don't know something? I thought you knew everything! No, Church. I don't know everything. You're not going to get all the answers you want. But what I do know is that the meta and this program are in enormous danger to everyone. And we just need to do what's expected of us. Do you think you can... Oh, great! What is that? We've been found out. Quick, grab Epsilon. I'll lead us out. Keep your head down. Okay, but if this fucking thing sends out any more images, I'm gonna throw it in the nearest trash can. Does anyone else hear that? Yes, we all hear it, Caboose. Simmons, did you do that? I don't think so. I hope not. Uh, red guys? Uh... White guys are coming, and they look bad. Really bad. Griff, close those shutters! On it! Here, I got it! This is every bit of information about the Blues and their soldiers! Can you erase it? I can, but Sarge, maybe we should think about this for a moment. What happens if we delete the Blues? It means they never existed! But did you ever stop to think? What does it mean to be red if there is no Blue? If they never existed, what's the purpose of even having a Red Army if there's no one for us to fight? Do you understand what I mean? It's like flip sides of the same <laughs> coin. What it means is what it's always meant. We rule, they suck. Don't overanalyze it, you pussy. Oh my god. Where's Caboose? What in the... Where did he go? <gasps> you don't think that deleting him from the computer somehow altered the fabric of reality and removed him hey from... Hey guys, I was just trying to find the bathroom. Church always has me go before a big battle. He hates when I ask to go in the middle of one. Oh. Did you want to finish your thought, Simmons? No, that's okay. I'm, I'm cool. Come on, dude. Tell us more about the reality-bending computer. I'm hanging on your every word. I don't want to talk about it. How do we turn this damn alarm off? Maybe it's one of those clap things. There we go. Dear Chairman, I don't give a damn about your committee and its opinions on my work. Have you forgotten, sir, we were at war? A fight with an alien race for the very survival of our species? I feel I must remind you that it is an undeniable, and may I say a fundamental quality of man, that when faced with extinction, every alternative is preferable. Get that door! What's the status up here? Fucked up. About to die. Simmons is a nerd. Usual. Looks like we've got at least half a dozen squads out there. They know our position, and we're outgunned. So, what's the plan? Well, we were gonna retreat down the hall until you just brought more guards up that way. So now the plan's pretty much to go down swinging. You first. Hey, Simmons, can you get back on that computer and change my affiliation from Red to Freelancer? Traitor. Hey, you gotta go with the winner. Um, can you change my job title to something more important like astronaut? Oh, I know! Space Marine! What are you idiots doing? 
This computer has all of Command's records. It does? Records on everybody? Yeah. You know, theoretically. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> oh, great! Now I'll show you that you're wrong. What an excellent idea. Wrong about what? Wash has been trying to convince me that I'm an AI. Huh? Why would he do that? Because he's transparent? He can take over other people? You know, that kind of stuff. That's because he's a ghost, dude. Thank you. That's what I said. If he's a ghost, why aren't any of the other soldiers turning into ghosts? Okay, fine. Why don't we just settle this? Simmons, look me up in the database. Yeah, I'd like to help, but we may have just kind of, you know, deleted all that stuff for the blues. All of what stuff for the blues? The everything stuff? Didn't I tell you not to touch anything? Yes, but you also told us to break stuff. This seemed like an excellent compromise. All right, great. That's fantastic. Now I can't prove him wrong, and I don't get a paycheck. Fucking great. Thanks, guys. And your side never existed, which means red wins. Suck it, you non-existent losers. No, nobody gives a fuck about that. Sour grapes. No way. He's not a computer. How can we be sure? Maybe we should ask him something only a computer would know. Like what? What's nine times eight? Seventy-two. Oh my god, it's spreading. How about this? Show me some porn. What? 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 That's what all my computers do. Oh, oh, uh, uh, steal some music for me. Oh, or, uh, 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 talk about politics and bore the shit out of me. Do you have any pictures of cats in serious situations? Because of the trauma he's been through, he's not going to be able to access most of his functions. He may not even realize his full potential. Not living up to his potential? That means Griff's a computer, too. It doesn't matter. We don't need him to believe. Until the next time we encounter the meta. What the hell was that? Come on, do you even need to ask? Outside fighting the meta. Still, be careful. Red, you grab a vehicle. Caboose, somehow I hate to ask this, but can you drive? Yes, but not an automatic. Only stick. Why can't you drive? We're in a rush! Come back to it later! Right. Caboose, grab that car. Church, put Epsilon in Caboose's Jeep. You guys are gonna make a break for it. Take Epsilon and turn him over to the authorities. They'll know what to do with him. You're not coming? No. Church and I are staying. Project Freelancer had one last resort failsafe. A high-powered EMP that can wipe out all the AI in this facility. Now that the meta is here, we have a chance to take them all out at once and put this entire project out of commission. What's an EMP? It's an electromagnetic pulse. It wipes out all circuitry and computers it touches. It will destroy the AI- Oh, you mean an EMP? Yeah, I was just about to say. Sounds like he's talking about an EMP. EMP? That's not how you say it. That's how most people say it. EMP. No, they don't. I say it that way. It's initials for electromagnetic pulse. That's EMP. Right. Which spells imp. Durr. We don't have time for this. You're wrong. Why don't we take a vote? A vote? No. No vote. You're just wrong. There's no vote. It's EMP. Not very democratic. Being wrong isn't a democracy. Church and I will work our way down to the director's lab while the rest of you escape. What if the meta follows us? No chance. There's no way he can pass up all the AI in here. Put Epsilon in the car and let's get moving. I'm leaving. I'm going with them. What? Wash, I don't give a shit about any of this. I hate you, I hate the freelancers, I hate everything about you guys. This isn't my fight. It's yours. It's your fight more than anyone else's! I don't care what you say. No, it isn't. Church, you'll never get another shot at fixing all of this. I know you don't believe what I've told you, but you need to ask yourself, what if I'm right? If I am, or if you have any doubts, not finding out will haunt you for the rest of your life. Not just finding out about you, but finding out about everyone close to you as well. It's your choice. What's it going to be? To the director of Project Freelancer, I write to inform you that by the authority of this subcommittee, officers have been dispatched to place you under arrest, and we expect your full cooperation. Congratulations are in order, I suppose. When they write the new morality protocols for dealing with AI, I'm certain they will name entire sections of the doctrine after you. 
It seems that you will earn your place in history after all. Dear Director. All right, stick to the plan. Just run. Get Epsilon out of here. Turn it over to the authorities the first chance you get. Sarge, shouldn't we help him? He won't stand a chance against that thing. We have our orders, Simmons. We have to think about the mission. Finally, an order I want to follow. Run away and live. If Agent Walsh wants to face him alone, that's his business. Yeah, but he doesn't want to face him alone. It's just that some people won't help him. That's not our business either. Just drive. When the EMP goes off... You mean the EMP? Stop it. It will destroy Epsilon if you're not far enough away. You got it, Mr. Washington. Take care of yourself, guys. I know that's one thing you're good at. He's gonna be on you as soon as you clear the gate. Be ready to move. Protect the Blues vehicle at any cost. Protect the Blues, right, yeah. We'll get right on that shit. as far away from the base as possible. I just hope there's enough time. He's falling for it! Gun it, Grip! Hold on, everyone! Warning. Security breach detected. Agent Washington. Good to see you again. Oh, hello. Are you somewhere nearby, Counselor? Somewhere I can say hello in person? Sorry, Agent Washington, but we were more than prepared for this eventuality. I'm afraid we'll not be able to see each other in person today. Well then you'll excuse me if I don't stop to chat. I'm on a timetable. There's someone else here who would like to speak with you. Well, hello, Agent Washington. The Director himself. I should be honored. I should be. Yes, I realize it has been a while since we spoke, David. May I call you David? No, you cannot. You gave me my new name. The least you could do is use it. I am certain you have a lot of questions, Walsh. Just one. How do I turn off this speaker? Warning. Security breach detected. <laughs> well, the prodigal son returns. Agent Main, you have caused quite a few problems for us. You will not be leaving this time. I think I've said that myself about 20 times in the last few weeks. Good luck holding him. You would be surprised what we are capable of, even from this distance. I suggest you work with us if you expect to survive this. I'm sorry. Did something about my actions indicate I expect to survive? Still about half a click to go! Step on it! Clearance verified. The failsafe is now online. How did you get those codes? You might be surprised what I know, Director. Warning. This is a last resort measure. Activating the failsafe will destroy all electronic equipment in this facility, including this terminal. Please confirm. It was Epsilon. He inherited the memories, didn't he? I've known about what you did since the moment you implanted him in me. Well then, I am very sorry, Agent Washington. But Project Freelancer no longer has need of your services. Program... Disable interior shield. What? Agent Maine. Please kill Agent Washington. No! no. Alert. Incoming recovery unit. Level zero. Immediate response necessary. Agent Washington, I feel this is one recovery beacon you won't be responding to. Kill him, Agent Maine. The Alpha is not here. It has been moved far away. Attend to the matter at hand. In Germain, what the director is trying to say is we can discuss the Alpha later. What's important is that you prove that you can be trusted again. We need to trust you before letting you meet the Alpha. Wouldn't you agree? You know, Meta, why wait? Why don't you meet him right now? Hi there. Professional. That's too bad. 
I just lost my job and we had great mental health coverage. How much time do you need? Whatever you can get me. When the EMP goes off... When it goes off, I'll be fine. It only affects computers, remember? And I am a motherfucking ghost. What's going on? Agent Washington, please. There is time. If you would just secure Agent Main, we can discuss this situation in a more civilized manner. No, we can't. Thank you. Failsafe initiated. Activating AMP. AMP? You have got to be fucking... Dear Chairman, I am disappointed by your decision to press charges, but I am not surprised. My only hope is that the courts will see the matters differently than you have. You see, I never had the chance to serve in battle, nor did fate provide me the opportunity to sacrifice myself for humanity as it did for so many others in the Great War. Someone extremely dear to me was lost very early in my life. My mind has always plagued me with the question, if the choice had been placed in my hands, could I have saved her? The memory of her has haunted me my entire life, and more so in these last few years than I could ever have imagined. But given the events of these past few weeks, I feel confident that had I been given the chance, I would have made those sacrifices myself, had I only the chance. Ben, I just got word from our new command. They said that thanks to our brave efforts in bringing Project Freelancer to justice, we can have full use of these former bases to continue our training exercises until such time as they need them for more official purposes. Whatever the hell that means. Wow, that's great news, sir. We even got a shiny new Jeep, courtesy of the UNSC. Yeah, but Sarge, what the hell is... Uh, shotgun, by the way? Shotgun? Fuck! What the hell's the UNSC? I don't know. Never heard of it. Sounds made up. I know that you disagreed with my methods, and that others will as well. This is beyond my control. However, I cannot imagine that any court would be able to convict me, no matter how low their opinion of my actions might be. You must understand one basic fact for all this to make sense, my dear chairman. These AI, they all come from somewhere. They are all based on a person. Our Alpha was no exception. And while the law has many penalties for the atrocities we inflict on others, there are no punishments for the terrors that we inflict on ourselves. So you send your men they won't find themselves a fight. They'll only find an old man. An old man tired, but satisfied he did his duty. An old man wary from a mind more filled with memory than it is with hope. Okay. Time to see if this works. Sincerely yours, the former director of Project Freelancer, Dr. Leonard Church.